Hello everyone, welcome back once more to another Black Pearl video. On the last video I've done the, the deck and now I'm preparing the gratings. And I use pre-made gratings from Amati and this is how I assemble them. They are not always easy to flip with only a few gratings attached on one of the sides. So in this case, since I didn't manage to flip, I'm going to put some glue. I try to use glue only on the edges because I want to stain this, I want to paint it and having glue on all intersections affects a bit things. So that's why I go through the trouble of trying to glue only a bit on the edges and not and doing this with uh, less glue as possible. I've marked what I want to cut and I'm using the, the little chopper to do it, the little guillotine. With the grating cut on the correct dimensions, I put glue all around the outside edges before trimming the final little pieces. I've repeated the process to make three, three of these gratings and now I'm using a sand block to make all the edges flush, preparing to put them on the structure. Now I'm going to glue this together with the wood that goes in between them and then the frame around it. I'm using a piece of wood to help keep everything straight on the side and gluing first the piece of wood that goes between these two gratings. I am doing this on a flat surface and the face that is on the table is the face that is going to be up so i'm going i'm doing this this way making sure that everything on the other side will be flat that way the face that will be up it's completely flat one
moving on to the outer frame same process you see me moving it's to prevent the, the structure to be glued to the to the mat which if it's not done fast enough can cause issues And this is it, the grating is done. And now moving on to staining and weathering it. After the walnut stain has dried, I'm painting the whole structure using the German grey that I've been using for the black pearl. As you might have seen on previous videos, I'm going to do the, the weathering using oil brushes. I'm preparing other less thinner to blend everything. And I start applying the, the oils with some dots. And then I will use a brush to blend everything together and remove any excess. 
I am not working on all the area at once because it tends to be harder to to blend if it dries too much. So one of the rectangles at a time seems more than enough. I try to keep two, two spots on the palette with odorless thinner. I use one to remove the excess the, from the brush and while I'm still blending. If I want to remove more effectively, I clean the brush on the odorless thinner that is dirtier. Then I go on the cleaner one and with the cleaner, the cleaner odorless thinner, it's easier to remove anything that I want. This gray oil is medium gray. This one is dust. And this one is medium mud. And to finish today's video, test fitting everything, making sure that it fits OK on the opening and to glue it in place. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please consider subscribing. I hope to catch you on the next one.